Okay, let's do a synthesis problem, and we're going to use the, some of the reactions we've been exposed to in this carbonyl unit, and we're going to use this the retrosynthetic method to solve this problem. So here's our problem. We need to make this molecule, and a constraint on this is we have to start with benzene. Okay, so how can we break up this molecule? Well, what we see in this molecule, we have an alcohol. And what do we know about alcohols? Mm -hmm. Alcohols normally came from carbonyls getting attacked. So if we want to take this immediately backwards, when we attack a carbonyl, we get a tetrahedral intermediate. We're going to react that with water. We're going to protonate that, that O-. minus. So that's one baby step backwards. Now, how did we form this tetrahedral intermediate? We form tetrahedral intermediates by attacking a carbonyl. And since we know we're going to have to have benzene as one of the pieces, let's say that this ring was our nucleophile, which attacked our carbonyl. So there we're drawing our benzene ring as a nucleophile, and here's the carbonyl that was attacked. So what are we doing? We're, we're taking our complex product and now we have simpler building blocks that we can use to make this. Of course, we're not finished yet. So now we need to figure out how to get our benzene ring as just regular benzene. Well, this looks like an organometallic species. So how did we get to this anion? Well, presumably uh, we make organometallics by taking things like halides and perhaps the bromide. We, we could use bromobenzene or chlorobenzene. And we'd react this with some type of metal. Uh, you know, we could do lithium. We could do magnesium. Either one will work. And then how do we get bromobenzene? Well, we can get bromobenzene from benzene. So now we're just about to finish. We can make bromobenzene by taking benzene and doing one of the very few electrophilic aromatic substitutions we know by treating it with bromine and iron tribromide. So now, here is a retrosynthesis. Let's write this out with reaction arrows. So we're going to start with benzene. First, we're going to treat this with um, bromine and iron tribromide that gives us bromobenzene we can then treat this uh, our second step in our sequence will be we'll treat this with lithium metal and that'll be two equivalents I'm not so worried about writing that two equivalents and we're going to get our organolithium we could just as easily have made the uh, Grignard as well now we're going to treat our organolithium, which is this carbanion, with our aldehyde. That nucleophile is going to attack. We get our O minus. Lithium plus. I'm kind of running out of space down here. It's okay. That's this is our tetrahedral intermediate. That gets us up to this stage. And now we simply do step four. We react it with water. I'm not going to draw that mechanism. We've seen it many times before. And we protonate our tetrahedral intermediate. And we get the alcohol. We get our final product. So this is, this is an approach. We have a complex structure. We try to break it up and go backwards and think about how would we start to get to this complex product. And then in the answer, we'll just carry it on forward from the end of our retrosynthesis all the way to the final product.